your it's your auntie that owned the dog, right? Yeah, my cousin. And you stayed at their house? It was in Arizona, actually. So not here. Why were you in Arizona? It was like during COVID and they were like, hey, if you're bored, do you want to come yeah. by? Like, we're not really doing much. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to. So I got on a flight. I was there for like three days and then the attack happened. Like, and, Had you met the dog prior? Yeah, many times. And it was cool? Very cool. Was not like aggressive at all. And then just out of nowhere. Had they ever had issues with it being aggressive? I asked anyone? and they told me no. So, I mean, like I want to believe that it was no. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, like not to my knowledge. They, no, no aggression prior to the attack. I don't want to get, I don't want to Get into make, it, okay. get into it. So, I have like, ask me anything, genuinely. So you're playing with it and it just snapped or? Yeah, I wasn't playing with it at all, actually. I was like in the kitchen and it was like a kitchen that kind of looked like this. There was an island in it. Um, like the fridge was here. I was standing right here and my cousin was putting like pans away in like the kitchen cabinets behind me. And the dog, I was standing up, the dog was sitting down. And I was like, oh, you're such a good boy. And I was standing, he was sitting completely down. There was no like food bowl next to me, no toy, no, nothing that would have caused him to yeah. be like aggressive or hey, that's mine. Um, and he just like, I looked back at my cousin and I looked back at him and he literally sprung off the ground and was just hanging off of my upper lip. And he was like a hundred pound dog. Like he was really thick. So like yeah. the split second, my like fight or flight was like, get in sumo wrestling position and just hold his head and just go wherever he goes. So like I was literally grabbing his head and just like swing. While your, I was, lip, your lip was still attached. Yeah, it was still point. attached and it had been like going on for like 60 seconds. So I was just grabbing his head and I was like closing my eyes and there was one moment where I opened it and it was just like all teeth and just like gum in my mouth. And then finally after like I said 60 seconds, I finally was able to get him off. And right when I did that, something like fell, like hit the wall and then fell down. And I was like, I stood up and I was like, okay, like I thought, cause I have a really high pain tolerance that I thought he just like latched on and then latched off. I did not think the whole thing was gone. And I like stood up and I was like, wow, like this is the best breath of fresh air I've ever had in my entire life. It felt like someone like shoved dry ice up my nose. It was so crisp and cold. And then I was like, oh, like what is that taste? And I like went like this and it was just all blood. So I was like, oh, like that's not good. You know, and I was like, yeah. oh. Then my cousin, cousin, I was going to say, your cousin's just standing there watching this, right? Yeah, no, I, she didn't even know what happened because I didn't like scream. I didn't like make any sound. Like I was like, I didn't want to do anything to upset the dog more. So yeah. I kind of just like stayed there. And she was like, I'm telling you, putting paws and pans away, like metal to metal, you know, they're like clanking in the back. Like, um, but yeah, so she kind of like turned around and then it was like, she said some things, so I won't repeat them. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then you rush off to the emergency no. room or she was like a lolly i mean i think everyone deals with trauma very differently i'm not gonna like blame her for what happened but there was definitely like a slow response to like how i think a reaction should have been like i grabbed my phone um i don't know if you guys have seen the picture on my instagram but like where my face was just like torn off it's kind of blurred um i accidentally took that picture so i was like getting my phone out to see how bad the damage was because i wasn't by a mirror i wasn't by anything that would like indicate that something had really been wrong. And Ugh. I'm telling you, like, I didn't look at my lip, like it was on the ground, but I didn't like, my brain didn't like allow me to think that that was that, you yeah. know? Um, Did someone grab it? Yeah, like at the end, yeah. But um, yeah, so I, you know. So you saw something. it. Yeah, I saw it through and then my, you go... but I didn't know I took that picture. So I was like, oh my God, I need to go to the hospital. I need yeah. to go to the hospital. And she's like, one sec, let me call someone. I'm not from here. I need to call someone. I don't know where I'm going. And I was like, call an ambulance. Like I need to go to the hospital. Like I'm going to faint. Like yeah. Yeah. I was losing so much blood. I was yeah. starting to get dizzy. And like my adrenaline was like, Brooklyn, you're fine. Like just, you know, you're, you're good. So I was just hanging on and I was like, all right. Like, <laughs> so she was like, the hospital's 11 minutes away. Like, I'm going to call someone. And I was like, just get in the car and take me. Like, she had a car. Yeah, she, we had a car. She was just really like, like I said, trauma. Everyone deals with trauma differently. I think yep. she was really like in shock where I was like, dude, I got to get to the hospital. Like, I, I need to get yeah. myself like situated. But um, I could see being the other person being in more shock than you. They definitely were. Cause 100 percent. I know it makes it doesn't that shouldn't <clears throat> add up. But Especially I, if they're if, if they're the dog owner. Yeah, right. I think with that type of dog. And also the guilt of. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that. Yeah. There was like stories she used to post a long time ago. Like if you want to get through me, you have to get through my dog. So there was always like that, like a, like badass of the dog type mm. of thing. So um, if that makes sense at all, but yeah, so she finally took me 
to the hospital and then she's like oh i need to grab something and i was like what and then she like took a paper towel and then like literally just scooped my oh, lip God. and it was like sitting on her lap um like through the car ride it was an 11 minute car ride and it literally felt forever i was like girl can oh you for please, sure please drive faster she saw a cop on the side road she's like i'm just gonna drop you off i'm like no i was like just what? i literally looked at her and i was like if you don't want to drive i'm like switch with me i was like i'm gonna take myself to the hospital and like i just need to go could you talk yeah actually like, i could it yeah. I'm sorry, but No, like, I was could, chewing gum the whole time. I was like what? messing chewing with the nurses. Gum? Yeah, but I swear it helped with my nerves. So when did the pain kick in? I didn't have any pain. Like right when I got to the hospital, they were like, she needs well, it was COVID. So I like went outside and there was like an outside check and they're like, What's your first name? I'm like Brooklyn. They're like, spell it out. I'm like, B R I had a rag over my face. Yeah. I'm like, B R O O K L I N N. They're like, last name? Give them my last name. What's your birthday? They're like, what symptoms are you having? I'm like, no. And they're like, what are you here for? And I just like went like this. She was like, oh, okay, okay, go, 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 go. So yeah. I like walk in, same thing, front desk, same thing. What's your name, Brooklyn? What's your last name, Corey? <laughs> oh I'm like, oh my God. And then finally like a guy came from the back and he's like, Brooklyn, I was like, yeah. He's like, come with me, like come with me. He's like, he's like, grab me. He's like, she needs morphine, she needs morphine. And I was yeah. like, no, 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 I don't want any of that. Like you guys are gonna think I'm psycho. I literally just took Tylenol. Like I did not want anything. Like I wanted, Why? cause I was alone and I didn't want like anything to happen that I was like not aware of, yeah, you know? Okay. So you didn't want to be loopy. I, I wanted <laughs> to be very present and like know what was happening. Cause I guess. I, I can appreciate that. But at some point there is an overwhelming sense of pain. I didn't have that, any. That you must, I can't believe you didn't have it. I mean, yeah. I, I'm a junkie. I would just say, I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> give me all of it. Oh, that's yeah. like, that's like, like a little bit beyond the finger. I'd be like, give me it all. 